Uh, we know that if you are looking to do something this weekend, maybe heading to a class at the Arlington Gym and Mineral Club yeah. is a good idea because anything indoors is a good option this weekend. With I can make you some bug earrings if you want me to, Madison. You know, they were beautiful, and it kind of made <laughs> me take a double take as yeah, if yeah. it was bugs or if it was something else. But um, I think I'll stick to my little hoops. <laughs> All right. Uh, noted. Noted. Maybe I'll find something else. Uh, you know what? It's not a gem of a forecast for us at all. We're going to be dealing with some hot days ahead. We have alerts in place starting today for the next five days. The hottest stretch of the year expected. So let's break this down a little bit more. Starting today, going through Tuesday now, excessive heat warning in effect starting at noon. Feels like temperatures as high as 112 degrees. Now the hottest day of the year, I think Sunday into Monday. Morning lows staying near or above 80 at least in the Metroplex, so that makes it hard to cool down overnight, adding for uh, to potential heat exhaustion, uh, maybe heat stroke. If you're going to be outside, limit your time outside. Now, these are the alerts from today all the way through Tuesday. Uh, you know, Sunday, Monday, 105. Now, we initially had an alert through Wednesday. I've dropped that. I'm confident that we have a front on the way Tuesday night into Wednesday, so I think our temperatures will drop below, uh, at least below our criteria uh, for the excessive heat warnings in place, as I think we'll have going into next week. But as you take a look, the heat advisory in effect until 9 o'clock this evening, all of North Texas, because that feels like temperature up to 108. It changes over to an excessive heat warning for the Metroplex and then off towards the north and the east at noon today, because that feels like temperature up to 110 to 112. The first alert 10 day forecast shows, yes, we have the alerts from today all the way through Tuesday, but notice the front moves through. Then our high temperatures drop down to 100 to then the upper 90s it towards the end of next week. So that's why I'm dropping there. This is what goes on. This heat dome, it's going to expand over the next couple of days. And as we go into the week, you notice how it's expanded even more. It does include a lot of the southern plains that center the axis of the ridge of high pressure very close to us here in North Texas. But then as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday, you notice that eastern side starts to shift back to the west just a bit more. That weakness in the upper level ridge, that heat dome, is going to allow a surface front to make its way from the northeast down to the southwest. So I think as we go into Tuesday, into Wednesday, it slides its way down towards the south and west. West. This forecast model is a bit aggressive, bringing a little bit of rain. I don't think we'll make it there. Uh, I'm not confident about that, but we'll be cooler as we go in towards midweek next week. 86 is where we're sitting right now. We're not cool at all. Temperatures are continuing to warm their way on up right now. 88 McKinney feels even hotter than that. We have temperatures right now across the Metroplex feeling like the 90s real fast. Feels like 97 in McKinney. You saw that first alert seven day forecast, and here we go. You can see temperatures finally dropping back down to 98 by Thursday.